Hi guys, good morning, this is Dan. Welcome to Angle Guys. For those of you that are new, welcome. For those of you that are returning, welcome back. And for those of you that support me over on Patreon, thank you so very much. If you're interested in subscribing to the channel via Patreon, you can get the daily forecast a day early. And also special readings that are only available over there at the first of every month. And there's different uh, sort of uh, perks for different levels of subscription. Uh, go to patreon.com and search Angle Guys and you can check that out. Um, for those of you that watch me here, please hit the thumbs up button if you've enjoyed the video. It's very important that you do that. Also, leave me a question or comment if you have any sort of questions or comments about the reading or um, any ideas about content you want to see. I'm more than open to any of that. This is a broad spectrum reading uh, representing, you know, hopefully making sense to the majority of the people that watch it. So you're going to have to kind of figure out where it applies to your life and sort of make it, you know, fit um, in a way. If it doesn't apply to your life in any way or it doesn't make sense or doesn't resonate, that's fine. Nothing's wrong. It just might mean that you might be working on something different than uh, the majority of the people that may see this video, and that's completely okay. Uh, this video is also set with the intention of being, uh, you know, the Sunday reading, but it also is the underpinning energy of the week, right? Between the 15th of November through the 21st. Now, if you're seeing this on a date that's not any of those dates, that's completely fine. You might still be able to use this video because um, it is set with the intention of the highest good for the greater collective. Therefore, when you find it is kind of when you're supposed to see it. You have to sort of trust that. If you do decide to make any decisions uh, in your personal life after having watched this reading, that is your responsibility. Please utilize this reading to enhance what you already know to be true. Uh, never give over your own sort of awareness or knowledge, your knowing to any reader anywhere, <laughs> ultimately, um, you know, use the reading as sort of uh, inspiration, validation, and assist of what you already know, okay? So let's get into this. Each card is going to represent about a day or two of the week. Um, some of you might experience only one of these cards. Some of you might experience all of them. It really depends on, you know, your path and what's going on. So none of this is hard and fast. You just kind of let it flow and work with it. So let's see what's going on. What do we need to know about November 15th through the 21st? I can't believe we're already in the mid-month of November. It feels like November just started. So let's see. So the first card in the early part of the week is the Seven of Cups. All right, so Seven of Cups is usually a little bit about uh, emotional confusion, or it can be about like one too many choices kind of being at the buffet and not really sure what decision to make. There's a lot of opportunity, I think, in the Seven of Cups, even if it is a bit struggle bus. Um, when we look at the Seven of Cups, there's always sort of, in the more traditional version, there's like kind of castles in a cup, which are sort of uh, far-reaching you know, not possible ideas, uh, and then there's things that are more practical, uh, there might even be some fears, some worries that are going on in the back of our mind or emotionally, and we have to kind of sort of weigh all of this stuff. Sevens always represent sort of making a conscious choice uh, around, say, a situation. If we begin the beginning of this week sort of not feeling like we know exactly what to do, uh, where to be, how to move forward, I think that this Seven of Cups signifies that it's okay to take that time to sort that out for ourselves, looking at stuff as to what's practical versus what's not. Now, I want to say we had that Seven of Wands yesterday at the end of the week, right, on Saturday. So this would kind of make sense. We're still in that sort of 70 energy of wanting to make a clear, you know, um, informed choice, right? Um, so we're going to be feeling this maybe a little bit as residue from that Seven of Wands card, for those of you that were experiencing that feeling on Saturday. This for Sunday, you know, there might be some confusion, some emotionality, but that's completely fine. The one thing the Sevens do help us do is they make us stand in our own power, stand in our own, the power of our choices, our decisions, and the responsibility of that. So getting clear, weighing all of our decisions, weighing what feels right versus what might not be possible or practical, um, and there could be a dreaminess to this beginning of this week where there's a lot of wishes, 
Um, because I kind of get this feeling when I look at this cat, he looks like he's wishing in a way, weird way, like he wishes he could make a clearer decision or he wishes he could have certain things but maybe can't. But that's sort of the power of this card is it's like, okay, well, maybe we can't have that, but can we, you know, move that to the side and go after something that's a little bit more grounded, a little bit more based in reality, a little bit more, say, maybe productive, um, less confusing, less maybe emotional. Um, I don't get a super bad sense of this card. I just sort of feel like it's about us kind of taking the next few days to get really clear on what it is we want and, and which steps to take, right? But we have to get silent with ourselves, maybe touch base with our emotions, what feels good, what, and turn ourselves towards those better feelings, if that makes sense, versus, um, you know, leading with, um, maybe more volatile <laughs> or, um, uh, mood swingy kind of stuff. Does that, I hope that makes sense. Let's see what this midweek card is. The midweek card is the Three of Pentacles. This is a beautiful card. This is always about collaboration. If we look at these cats, they're working together to certainly get themselves out that window to freedom. Uh, the Pentacles is a very earthbound energy, right? So I love that we have the confusion and the emotionality of the Seven of Cups at the beginning of the week. By the midweek, we might be actually able to ground and get productive. And through collaboration with, say, friends, coworkers, partners, we can come together and start to produce something that actually might uh, create results for us. Now, when I'm saying results, you have to figure out what is it you're trying to work on? What is it that you've had your eye on? Is it a new relationship? Is it a new job? Is it the opportunity to make more money? Is it, you know, a new home? Whatever that is, the confusion that has starts off in the beginning of the week or, you know, there might be multiple routes to whatever the goal is and you're trying to figure out what is the most practical route, what is the most, like, sort of um, logical or quickest way without sort of having to deal with, you know, I don't know, the drama or the emotionality of a situation. By midweek, it looks like we actually come to some productive answers, right? Where these answers might be grounded in some actual real um, actionable, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, you know, steps, right? <laughs> It's interesting to me that these cats are on these garbage cans, which, <laughs> and they're moving towards the light, so I kind of feel like these cats do understand that where they're at is not necessarily where they want to be, and where they want to go, it looks a whole lot more appealing. So keeping that focus on the light, the positivity, the excitement, we are hopefully going to find opportunities, maybe through others, that's also the collaboration of the Three of uh, Pentacles, maybe through others and their help or assistance or ideas that might like kind of move us through to the next phase of whatever it is that we're working on. I do like that the white birds are back in this card and we're moving from this idea of cloud cover, right, which would, to me would be fogginess or not knowing, to this idea of going through the window towards the light. Um, and there is like little flowers down here if we look, so there is opportunities for beauty and growth through all of this whole process. And when we look at the clouds behind all of those cups with that cat and the seven of cups, this confusion isn't maybe uh, supposed to be here. Um, so don't be put off by it. Don't judge yourself for it. Um, allow yourself a few days to kind of sit with whatever's going on emotionally and how things feel. Do they feel good? Do they feel right? Is this going to provide you with what you need? These are the questions you should be asking at the early part of the week. By the midweek, the answers will come. Those answers may come through other people or, you know, situations that offer us the opportunity to sort of collaborate or um, uh, receive assistance in some way, shape, or form that helps us to move forward in a way that, you know, is, um, what's the word, like, I guess grounded and very, um, you know, uh, uh, there's just an earthiness to the pentacles energy that says to me that we will get down and out of our emotions and actually be ready to take some steps uh, through the help of others. All right, so let's look at the end of the week card. And the end of the week card is the six of wands. Now, the Six of Wands to me is about moving to calmer waters. I love that this cat is sitting here with this headdress, right? This cat to me feels like she knows what she wants and she's kind of there. We still have the um, three cats that we see in the other here. So we're, st we're still probably collaborating with 
you know, whatever situations, energies, this, I mean, this could be collaboration with our guides for some of you that are more into guide work or, or your higher power, your God, whatever that might be, your angels. If you're working in that way through collaboration, great, that works too. Or if it's like, you know, coworkers, friends, whoever's helping us to sort of flesh out our goals and move things forward. By the end of the week, to me, this feels like we kind of have a good grasp on what we want. We've departed from the confusion in the early part of the week, right? Which that confusion, I don't want you guys to see that as a bad thing. It's just that there might be one too many options on the table, right? And we're not sure which one to take or which one to go after first. The six of wands says to me, no, nope, we're ready. We know what we want. There's certainly more balance in a six, right? As far as the number is concerned. But I love how this cat is sort of sitting there being heralded, appreciated, has a clear vision. All of this light, we have the victory wreath, not only here, but also around the cat's head. To me, it's like we're being smart about it. We're utilizing our knowing, our awareness, our spiritual centeredness, right? That's also wands being the element of fire in spirit. We're a connected in. Uh, by week's end, we have all of these beautiful poppies at the bottom, which also speak to that idea of, you know, more growth, more beauty, more um, opportunity there. And we also have all of these white birds. So what begins to start in the midweek really perpetuates itself all around us. So spirit is assisting us, hopefully, um, and we are able to receive that assistance and really take it in and appreciate it and shine it back almost, right? Because that, that sort of I don't know if it's called a mandala, but that kind of, um, I love this shining around the cat's head, this golden light. To me, it speaks to this idea that not only are we receptive to the gifts that are being given to us or the opportunities that are being given to us, we're also able to sort of shine them back for others to see, for spirit to appreciate too. Uh, there's a gratitude in the Six of Wands. There's a celebration in the Six of Wands. To me, that feels um, really beneficial and settled. But also wants about, you know, moving forward in action, sometimes moving to calmer waters or moving, you know, uh, to something that's more clear or precise or in line with us. And I just feel that alignment with this card. So by week 10, our goals might be set. Our, uh, they might look all the more attainable. Um, we might be all the more receptive to receiving them or understanding that we deserve them. I get a really good feeling from this end of week card. So just work your way through this week as best you can. Now let's see what the empathic world will have to say. And I think that you guys will be fine. The three of pentacles is also a very lovely energy. It's not, it's not like, to me it's about collaboration and being open to the opportunities, even if they come out of, you know, I don't know why, but those trash cans are pulling my attention in the three of pentacles. To me, it sort of speaks to this idea of just be open to all opportunities, wherever they may come from, even if they're from surprising areas or from shitty situations. <laughs> that's kind of the, excuse my language, but that's kind of the garbage cans to me. It's, it's like taking something that maybe doesn't work for us and turning it into an opportunity. And I sort of feel that with this, these cats kind of working together to get themselves up to that window and out into the light. And then they're sit sitting in that light beautifully, like, um, right here in the Six of Wands centered in what it is that they want. And then they're almost sending out their guides or their, you know, these, if these aren't guides, if these birds aren't guides, these could be our desires, the purity of our desires, right? And sort of, that's also very much want energy, is that idea of taking action and being centered enough or in communion enough with our spirit that we can send out those desires out into the universe and allow ourselves to sort of um, receive them as they come back to us, okay? Let's see what's going on with the um, uh, Empathic Oracle. So we have Desert. Interesting. This is a 331, which is 3 and 1, which is a 4, which to me brings about stability. When I look at Desert, I kind of feel like this is associating a little bit with that Seven of Cups card a little bit. Uh, in the sense that when I think of a desert, it's usually sort of a journey or a slog that we need to take that kind of transforms us or brings us through, right? Um, I love that there's sort of a starry night sky here, and to me this desert doesn't feel so bleak. It does feel a little bit busy in this card, but I think ultimately whatever challenges us in the beginning of the week will bring about that um, 
uh, the challenges of, say, what a desert would provide us, right? But we also learn from working our way through said desert or through said confusion of the Seven of Cups. It brings us that four, uh, that level of number four stability, maybe by the midweek or by the end of the week and when we hit that Six of Wands, right? So I'm um, traveling through the desert. And also, I'm going to say this too. I, this is just crossing my mind. Doing this in a smart and intelligent kind of way, which we see in that grounded three of uh, pentacles energy, to me, this looks like a starry night sky in the desert. So something that might be challenging, right? Similar to those garbage cans that we see in that three of pentacles. If we, if we approach it with less confusion and less emotion in a way, and we're more grounded and practical and allow ourselves to receive the assistance, maybe wherever that's coming from, outside sources, our guides, other people, situations, you know, I look at this and I see this almost as a night sky. We're traveling in the desert at night, which isn't necessarily our normal form of transit or when we would normally choose to, you know, move, but we're doing it in a way that we outsmart sort of the environment. Does that make sense, right? Where we're choosing to travel through our challenges at night because it's easier and it's still peaceful and beautiful. And we can give ourselves that peace and that beauty by midweek and really feel it by end of the week when we hit that Six of Wands energy. Does that make sense, guys? So it's about bringing about this stability, taking things that seem challenging in the beginning of the week and really finding some, uh, some sort of way of relating to them in a way that brings about not only stability but also actionable change where we can take steps and, and feel accomplished by week's end. So let me... I actually know this is the weekly, so let me just go to the grant. Grounding stone. I don't read the definitions on the loose lady because it's going to be too long of a video. <laughs> so, and the grounding stone is okay. The grounding stone is love. So, this is what we want to ground in for the entirety of this week. We want to stay centered in this love. I'm going to say at the beginning of the week with that Seven of Cups energy, staying grounded in that love towards ourself first and foremost is going to be key. That's going to be probably what sort of frees us up to emotionally sort of maybe release some of the confusion or some of the too many choices that we might be facing or the indecision that we might be facing. In that love, we also attract the sort of benefits of the Three of Pentacles, which is outside sources coming in to help us. By the Six of Wands, which is the end of the week, I feel like we are radiating that love uh, immensely from behind that cat's head, right? Where, you know, the birds are flying around us or our spirit, our desires are flying around us. People are seeing what we're emanating and it's powerful, powerful stuff. So keep your focus on this idea of love, on this idea of doing what's best for you first and foremost. Um, and, and, and remember that we can do that from a place of, we don't have to sort of sacrifice others or their desires in an effort to achieve our own. And if we go after our own, that does not make us a bad person, right? That's some, maybe some of the confusion that we have in the Seven of Cups in the beginning of the week. So keep traversing the desert, um, seeking that stability. You will find it again, again by midweek when we hit that Pentacles energy. And we'll really be radiating something different by week's end in that Wands energy. Like I said, that night sky of the desert says to me that we may have to find a different way of operating within our environment. But we kind of find this sort of mastery or this sense of... Um, you know, if we do something outside of the box or different than how we would normally do it, we might learn something really beautiful. And so I think that that's also the love that exists in the grounding stone is having that love for ourselves to be willing to try something new. Um, and that is your forecast for the day. I hope that makes sense, guys. Or for the week, actually. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Please hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed it. Um, and we'll see how this builds throughout the week. And um, uh, share this video wherever you'd like. Leave me a question or comment if you feel so inclined. And please subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the content. Uh, take care and thank you so much for tuning in. I love to get together with you guys every morning and watch the um, forecasts unfold. And I hope you're enjoying them too. All right. Have a great day, you guys. Bye-bye.